what I wish I knew before interviewing to be a math tutor and before taking on the role of a math tutor. I was a math tutor for many, many years, probably six or seven years before I started teaching. And these are all the things I wish I knew before I got involved as a math tutor, specifically before I interviewed as a math tutor. And the first thing I wish I knew before becoming a math tutor is that it is an in-demand job. There is need for qualified math tutors out there. Most people in the math profession, at least if you're going into academia, mind you, you're probably becoming a teacher. Most people in the academic field of mathematics are not tutors, and students struggle with math. There is a high demand for math tutors, specifically math tutors that can really get the job done. So this was surprising to me that Nearly every single tutoring job I applied for or everyone I found was very eager to hire me. I worked at a few different places and I applied for a few different places, but it seemed like every single place was very interested in me and I, I had to turn a few opportunities down just because well, you know, you can only pick one or maybe two, but it's a nice thing if you like tutoring that you're going to be in demand if you have the skill set. The second thing I wish I knew was that, and this won't happen all the time, but because it's such an in-demand position that you might be asked to take on extra responsibilities. And that happened to me in nearly both of the main math tutoring positions I took after I graduated college. My first math tutor position, um, I took on extra roles kind of facilitating peer tutors, you know, undergraduates who were tutoring. And in my second math position, I took on additional responsibilities as a TA. So I was a grader for one of the calculus professors. And it kind of is just a unique opportunity because it's a very specific skill set, you know, tutoring college level math or at least you know advanced enough math that people require tutoring so it's just something to be prepared for that you never know what's gonna be thrown at you next the next thing I wish I knew before starting these interviews and doing math tutoring for a number of years was that the job is mainly a part-time job unless you're lucky and you can get a full-time job tutoring if you can congratulations I wasn't lucky enough to do that but it's mainly a part-time job and probably you're not getting any benefits along with that. So this is probably a big reason why tutors are in demand. Colleges will usually hire tutors on a part-time basis, and they might even hire multiple tutors just so they don't have one full-time person. It's kind of nice and it's kind of bad. It's bad that you don't have a full-time package with benefits and all that, but it's nice that you know, you're able to have a very flexible, flexible schedule most of the time. You know, I was more or less able to pick the hours that I wanted to work or the hours that worked my schedule. And it was really nice when I was working uh, as a tutor and I could go to grad school at the same time. It was a nice thing for that, but it's definitely something to be aware of if you're trying to be a professional math tutor out of college. Next, obviously, and this is something that I guess I knew, but maybe I wish I knew a little bit more, is that you really need to be versed well in calculus. That's the main thing. I think at the college math level, the main thing that students are gonna be coming to you for, and the most in-demand thing, the reason that college math tutors are in demand is because of calculus. And you have to be very well versed in calculus. And it got to the point with me that, you know, students would come, you know, from any calculus class, Calc 1, 2, or 3, and be asking me, you know, any type of question from anywhere in the book, and you kind of have to be ready to turn on a dime to switch your gears to go with this question or that. It was kind of tough to keep up, to be honest. And if you're not well up to date on your calculus all the time, it's going to be that much harder for you. I know when I was first working as a math tutor just starting out, and students were coming to me with all these questions, and you know, I really had to think, and I really had to kind of go back and quickly reteach myself this stuff before I could answer the question effectively. So it takes a little bit of practice, but when you're well versed in calculus, it makes your life so much easier. And the last thing I wish I knew specifically about the interview process was that there was a teaching demo or really a tutoring demo. So I had this in one of my interviews where there was a mock student that came over and I was I was instructed to tutor them in a specific subject. And that was kind of a, you know, it makes a lot of sense. The college wants to do that. They want to see how you work, how you tutor. You know, you don't give away 
all the answers right away. You kind of push the student in the right direction, these sort of things. But it's just something that you should be prepared for. And you should be prepared that's probably in calculus. It's probably in Calc 2, I would guess, because Calc 2 seems like it's just like the most tutored subject, at least in my case, it's the one where most students struggle. So be prepared to do a tutoring demo, specifically in a calculus area. It's just something to watch out for. It's nothing to stress over, but it's just something that I wish I knew I was going to do. Those were the top things I wish I knew about math tutor interviews and before I got into the math tutoring field. What do you think? Were there things that you wish you knew before you became a math tutor? I'd really like to know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching until the very end and have a great day.